Superstar, what the fuck have you created, man? set up and I want to break your flow but if you can drop a gem uh, on anything you're going to touch base on today or you're just going to mingle with with the people oh yeah we're just performing you know twin the album putting the art out there you know okay. what I'm saying go get that album one of the best albums of the year double album 23 songs mm. you know we got that uh twin the movie episode one on that <laughs> Start the cameras, and our guardian angel will take care of you. Of course, I wish you could see what I'm seeing now. Sometimes you gotta be a really high to understand how small you really are. I'm coming home. Right there. I'm going. We crossed the Pacific Atlantic as I was the force of the mystic. The planet is ours. Mechanical powers that slams into towers. Botanical gardens we planted the flower. In an hour, them hands that empower more diesel than plants of the sour. More lethal than grams of the powder. Expanding my power, no people programming my hours. Yeah. We're just, we're just working. And that's gonna be online. How, how can we take the movie once it's produced? Uh, he's gonna permit that on our birthday. It might premiere tonight. I'm not so. It might premiere tonight. Uh -oh. How big are you prepared for that to be? I mean, do you have one on your seatbelts that really starts hitting bells and whistles? Um, and Hollywood comes come, comes calling. You ready I for that? I don't want Hollywood calling nobody. Because <laughs> so they ain't calling nobody this yeah, way. <laughs> we, we, we actually want to create our own version of a godly wood. You know what I mean? Excellent. I like that. We, I we like that. We can't trust our intellectual property, our imagery, our images in the hands of people who've proven to be uh, you know, demonic towards, towards, towards our endeavor. Yeah. So you want to put a call out for young producers, young writers, folks that's yeah, on yeah. their on their grind. All of the young creatives that are out there, you know what I mean. I don't think that uh, I need to keep saying this, but you know we need you to, to think sovereignly, meaning think ownership. Know that the level, that the, the playing grounds have been leveled, and act as such. Act accordingly. Stop, stop, stop feeding this machine your intellectual property. Stop being cannon fodder mm. for you know the people who have historically pillaged and, and raped our culture. Mm. It's only gonna you're gonna be the goofy in the long run. You're gonna be on where are they now? Trying to with the with the sob story. I've seen a hundred episodes to know. Don't trust those people. Work on yourself. Support those who are out here cooking. If you if you got all of the certifications, if you got a good portfolio and you've been working with the industry, come home. There is no more industry. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Come back home. And I know you build the last question until we get to you later. You said the field is leveled. You sound kind of had a little finale to that. You sure it's not becoming more level? You say there's no edge? Everybody's on even playing field at this point? Not at all. Um, it's a money game still and all. Mm. You know, you got to pay to play. But at the end of the day, creativity wise creatively the creatively true. same tools that they use you can use mm. the same programs that they've been using to cut movies you can use it green screen the technology drone, is te available the technology now. is available to everybody mm. Mm. you could rent movie cameras over the weekend if you can't afford the full production but the big thing we have access to is the audience because before you needed a distributor you need all these other people to get you in front with right. YouTube you got the world right at your disposal Not YouTube. You don't have the world at your disposal ah. with YouTube per se. They are All right, biased. clear it up. They're very biased. They're, their control, Liar Cohen, is at the helms of that now. Mm. YouTube is suspect. Mm. You know I mean? They censor. They censor content. They will allow buffoonery. True. Uh, black. Black. Uh, coonery is a trillion-dollar industry. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? 
So we don't rely on, we, we would say that the, the ground is level because you could create your own streaming service right. and put your servers overseas. Mm -hmm. So that's that's a plus. Mm. It's not YouTube is the commercial. YouTube would be like, you know, buying ad space. Mm. It's to promote your platform or promote your website or promote your web app. So it's not a panacea, but you definitely advise a young entrepreneurial minded young brother, young sister to definitely utilize it because it's there, right? It would it would be almost remissive of me to not because mm. I've used it, I've utilized it. Mm -hmm. It's gotten me and my brother and other people around the around the globe in a in a in a, in, a, in, a um, in one click. So it serves its purpose, but what I'm saying is to to just throw the whole fact that it's been leveled and this is that and this is the platform to make your dreams come true i wouldn't want to steer anybody in the wrong direction mm -hmm. because this is about control when you upload to youtube yes yeah, it's a springboard because they'll own your content so you'll have a web series or you'll have a, a two-hour movie on youtube but when it all comes down to it by agreeing by uploading it you dare you agree to have them in control of your intellectual property mm -hmm. and it will come back to haunt you when it comes time to come you know that might be a billion dollar project but you went through youtube right right you don't see you don't you know they have to negotiate with content creators and big studios and all they they carry. YouTube red, like, they got youtube red you can make a deal with them for yeah. your content now how about the the uh uh dark web that we have so much of yeah. is that Deep truly web. grown even now you look at that one of the last mass shooters there was a right wing uh underground type. what i'm saying is they are communicating they're getting their marching orders the the, the rooms that they gather in are on the deep web that's mm -hmm. where they get their marching or these when, these when, when i travel the country and i run into militia like i was just in florida the rednecks know my name you know what i'm saying uh -oh. the, the, the guys in the monster trucks because they're on, they're in chat rooms, sharing, sharing uh, Sinetic clips, you know. Because remember, you know, unfortunately, when the, the Dallas shooter, the Gavin guy, you know, Gavin Long, you know, with, with you know, when, when Professor Griff gets implicated, we all implicate. So you find your purpose. You know what I'm saying? Else. When he has pictures of uh, Red and Sinet on his page, we all get implicated. So these people are sharing information. You know what I'm saying? I had been approached by militia back three or four years ago in Oregon, and he knew my name. You know what I mean? They told me that, look, they like the information, but they said that we're standing on truth, and our people need to listen to us more. You know what I'm saying? But nonetheless, you know, once you put that into the universe, you don't have no idea who's capturing it and how they're utilizing it. So yes, there's an entire dark web community where they take this information, and they do whatever it is that they're doing with it, you know what I'm saying? Of which we don't know until the hammer comes down. In some cases, you dig what I'm saying? But I guarantee you, if somebody from our community was implicated in a mass shooting or the killing of an officer, and they was part of any dark web community, that dark web community would be shut down. You know what I mean? So we're not even gonna talk about the fact that there has been, what, 43 mass shootings in this country in this year alone? Shit, it might be 44 by now, because it's been one hell of a weekend. I'm telling you, yes. You know what I'm saying? And um, all of them have been at the hands of white males. You know what I'm saying? Deranged white males, but yet and still, it doesn't seem to be a national crisis. There's no, um, hashtag movement, you know, to, to, to criminalize or demonize what's taking place. You know what I'm saying? What's taking place, this is Veterans Day. You feel me? Is this a day that we should be celebrating? You know, if all of these, or the majority of these shooters are, are veterans. So what the hell is going on in military where they are creating, you know, sleeper cells or killers and bringing them home and trying to put them into this um, Pleasantville society that they're trying to prop this country up to be when we should know better at this particular time. So the chickens have come home to roost and, um, you know, yeah, she was stupid.